You've unlocked additional content on this profile. Live and spooky. You can access additional content from the play menu. Nice. Um, I have looked through the challenge room several times. Uh, I've looked at my rewards. I've so far gotten the cost efficient trophy, Dave's secret cocktail, but the rest of them, man, some of these are so hard. I will not lie. They are very hard to do. They're challenges for a reason. So. <laughs> I'm kind of scared about the scary version of this game. I'm going to eat a gummy worm for safetyness. <laughs> okay. Extras. No. What did I say? Play? Mmm. Live and spooky. Continue. I think I'll just do the normal recommended one. If I fuck up too bad, I'll change it. <laughs> Maybe I should not be eating stuff when scary stuff is happening. Oh shit, I'm still in the room. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, that was fast. Day 85, live and spooky. There's a hole here. Oh no, why am I getting FNAF feels? No! No, this better not be FNAF! Obviously, no one important has to do the graveyard shift, so I'll be clocking out now. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Diane. Toodaloo. Okay. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the Live and Spooky team. Tonight, we're broadcasting live from an old film studio which is haunted by the vengeful spirit of a woman found dead in the basement. Oh, great. You know, Is it me or is it like really quiet? Hold on, let me see. Audio. Did I turn the volume down? I did turn the volume down. That's my bad. This might get really loud, so I'm going to turn this down. Oh, thank you, Lee Kwu. How are you? Okay. This is might get really loud. Loads the films for you and then converts them so they're ready to be okay. broadcast. I think that's good. Unfortunately, all free reels are badly fire damaged, but no other copies exist, so we'll just have to make do with bits missing. Okay, so I'm in a basement that's haunted just by a dead woman. To hit the ad button. The end of each segment to play the films. Okay. Oh, and that device on the right, that's the spirit jammer. <laughs> it prevents any wayward or malicious spirits from interfering with the show. Honestly, Gareth knocked it up in his garage and I don't think it does anything. But he assures me it's set correctly, so just don't touch it, I guess. I really hope there's no actual jump scares. Please. Kind of hard to tell how good and absolutely terrible at the same time. Oh, you're talking about the audio? Can you hear that? <laughs> oh, no. Please be funny and not actually scary. That is the sound of fate. Have you ever heard Gosh, it's been so long since I played this. I have. Good evening, my friends, both in this realm and in the next. Tonight we've come to a wretched place to uncover a dangerous case. Welcome to the Bannon Sound Stage. <laughs> Once a thriving studio at the forefront of innovation until tragedy. A horrifying accident. A devastating fire and finally death itself. Join me, Wayne, the spirit whistle, spiritual medium, psychic communicator, lover, as I <laughs> attempt to uncover the dark truth 
into grey on Banner's infamous chaos show. Tonight, on live and spooky. What are you doing, Oi-Oi? That's really loud, that hurt! Ah oh, well, it's not like we need it, right? But while I've got you, we might need your help to make things a bit spookier. Obviously Wayne is very talented, but we've yet to actually capture any... <laughs> this guy again, I love this guy. So, for the sake of the audience, every now and then we help things along by using these ghost effect buttons. Our team has set up some little special effects around the building to spice things up. When Wayne needs an effect, they'll light up. Pick one of these four buttons to trigger the ghostly effects. The effect you choose will cue them where we want them to go next. Okay. Thing two. Tonight's episode features a very special guest, <laughs> journalist, broadcaster, and all-round truth seeker, Patrick Bannon. Good evening, Wayne. You excited to join us tonight? I'm excited, Wayne. I can't say I'm excited about all this dust, though. It plays havoc with my allergy. Now, Patrick. Oh, what's that, love? Oh, my. My, Patrick. I'm hearing from the spirit world. I'm hearing something that might shake your world. I want to know what the coat hanger is. Foundation. Is it true that you are, in fact, the one and only son of... Graham Bannon. Well, yeah, I mean, everyone knows that, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, the breeding is off the charts. And of course, we're joined as usual by our paranormal investigator and supernatural scientist, Dr. Ahmed. Excuse me, Dr. Ahmed, what is an EMF? Oh, <laughs> forgive me, Mr. Bannon, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I forget that not everyone is as well versed in the terminology as myself and Mr. De Spirit Whistle here. So, EMF stands for Electric Magnetic Field. Essentially, it is a measurable energy signature. Okay. That's a lot to read really fast in chat, so <laughs> I'm just gonna read it now. You got rid of your addictions, you got closer to the person you like, but you might have testicular cancer. But it's removable, and it's not gonna be a big problem. That's good. I'm glad you're getting your cancer removed. That is a very, very heavy thing to write in chat. Uh, cancer is not a fun thing, I know. So I really do wish you the best, Liquu, okay? And yes, I will drink. Given off by all forms of spectral phenomena. Mm -hmm. And that thing being off the charts, is that, is that a good Oops. thing or is that a bad thing for us? Well, I mean, Higher tends to mean that there is either a stronger presence or even multiple presences. Mm. <laughs> and of course, seeing that we're in the business of hunting ghosts, I'd say yes, it's definitely a good thing, Patrick. Mm. Words to trust there, Mr. Bannon. Our doctor here is the foremost expert in metaphysical science. What do you have for us this evening, Pet? Well, I've actually stumbled onto something of a breakthrough here, Wayne. <laughs> I've managed to actually expand the light spectrum visible to the human eye <laughs> by refracting it through a specially vibrated glass prism. This cutting edge technology actually allows us to see into the spirit world. Ah, yes! Let's get the ghost cam switched on! Oscillating optoelectronics. Boom! Ah! What was that for? Branching oscillating octahedral optoelectronics. Oh, yes, exactly. So, this is I the said. ghost cam? Okay. <laughs> but of course, I do need a shorter name for that now, don't I? Boom! Ah! Please stop doing that. Yes, Mr. Banner, please do stop scaring poor Dr. Ahmed. Please continue, Doctor. Thank you, Mr. De Spirit Whistle. So, tonight, we will be utilizing, utilizing my standard surveillance kit, which of course includes night vision capabilities. Should we come into any problematic darkness, let's say? Oh, and additionally, I have taken the liberty of installing my branching up um, new devices all over the building. Tonight, we might actually be able to broadcast the image of a ghost for the very first time. Oh, exciting stuff! Uh, and now, Patrick, your father 
built this place two, at the height of his three. illustrious career. That's right. The year was 1956. Hot off his success in music hall venues and comedy clubs around the country, Graham Bannon suddenly produces a TV script. A script that blows the mind of studio execs and leaves them scrapping over who will get to make it. It's what's called Dying is Another Man's Job and starred Graham <laughs> as a daring do-gooder, Percival Peril. It was set to be a tour de force for your father, launching into superstardom. Ah, but it was to be the start of something much more sinister. Three disasters struck, each more calamitous than the last. And shortly after the tragic events that <laughs> just had to check, just had to check. It broke him. This place, the curse. My father had it all. Charm, talent, the weaselish good looks of a meerkat or some sort of stoke animal. But fate came in and cruelly stole it all away. A built in 57, the Bannon soundstage was to be the home of a brand new televisual sensation of a scale never seen on our screens before. Oh, that damned woman. Ah! The spirit! Doomed to roam the ah. wings and the Now they're talking about the, the dead girl in the basement that I'm currently in. A tragic loss of life. We Theft these walls, cursed forever. Of course, production was shut down following Murphy Murphy's mysterious passing. And since then, there have been misguided attempts to make use of this very building. None survived. What? Succeeded. But none succeeded. Sorry, succeeded. Uh, we'll investigate those tales as we delve deep into the ruins of this once flourishing enterprise. <gasps> wait, wait! Who's there? A spirit! A spirit beckons! <gasps> we can test out the branching octahedral oscillating optoelectronics! Boom! Well, that first goes to effect any second now. Okay. The script calls for them to go to the costume room first. So when the button lights up, hit the coat hanger button. Oh, okay. So those are the rooms. Any moment now, hey, speak to me, Lord. Oh my, oh my goodness. That's it. Now wait, run with the script and then we'll move on to the next location. Please, Phillips. Where does our journey lead us? Show me. What? Don't waste your time. The spin must be shown as well as home. If a design thing to go by, it's a cry for help. <laughs> uh, uh, come on, Wayne, must not handle the spirits. The costume room was the place where poor red backflips. So, I guess this is more of a funny scary? The whole That's the late costume designer Marie Murphy, one of the suspects in this insidious mystery. As most terrifying of all, it contains dangerous amounts of noxious fabric. <laughs> Here we are, Patrick, our first stop, the wardrobe department. Why is it you think the spirits brought us here first? Well, makes a lot of sense, Wayne. Many people would say that this is where the accident was caused. But that injured stuntman, Brent Backflip. That's exactly right. Well, say more, say more. Well, wouldn't like to point fingers, Wayne. But if I were going to, and I am going to, I'd point all eight of mine and my thumbs squarely at Marie Murphy. Uh, the costume designer. The very same. In this room, Wayne, at that desk, probably, she sat there making the costumes for the show. The costume with a harness that failed and plunged an innocent man to his death. Brent Backflip the way that guy moves his mouth is hilarious. Well, his he, death. He didn't die, no, no, no. <laughs> but the same plunge to his death sounds better than saying plunge to multiple commutative fractures. Yeah, and what do you <laughs> think happened to the harness, Patrick? Well, I wouldn't like to speculate, why. But if I were going to, and I am going to, I'd say poor workmanship, laziness, poor hardiness. Basically, she dropped the ball. And the ball was a man. Such a small <laughs> thing can have dire consequences. A seemingly <laughs> insignificant thing like the costume girl can mean life or death. 
Absolutely. Mm. But we all make mistakes. But sometimes mistakes cost lives. Or in this case, legs. We have <laughs> Dally Patrick, the dead. Uh -oh. us forward. Give us a sign. Wait, what are we supposed to Hush, hush, Patrick. Can you smell that? A very distinct earthy odor. Not really. What is that? Ah, uh, yes, the perfume of flavor of the awakening environment. Yep, I've got it now. Is it supposed to be a zoo or a farm or something? <laughs> Did they just throw wood and chips at him? Marvels, to be sure, Patrick. It's not animals, no. Something, um, something, um, a place of work where people would gather to work together. The work shop, of course. This way, Patrick. That's where our next clue is. What? The workshop performed the final checks on all props, sets, and costumes. Before this is such a silly little TV show. There have been no direct ties between this place and Brent Backflip's accident. I think safe to Yet. eat a gummy worm. I'm so worried I would choke on what it because of scariness. This dusty domain contain. Somewhere designed for creation, for crafting, for... Crying wolf? Yeah. No, Mr. Bannon. This is where misfortune gathered, culminating in a terrible accident. Well, it certainly was a terrible shame what happened to that man. Although Dad did say the only good bit of acting Brent ever did was when he was in that courtroom demanding compensation. There were a great many plausible causes for the accident. Some said it was because the costume was poorly constructed, that the girl hadn't made it fit for purpose. Others claimed the prop that Brent had to carry was far too heavy and the prop master should never have allowed its use. And still others argued it was the fault of the man in question that Brent Backflip didn't act carefully enough despite all the precautions that were made for his safety. Yeah, I think Dad agreed. It was definitely one or all of those things. And absolutely nothing to do with the fact that he made Brent wear handcuffs for the climbing up the side of the building stunt. <laughs> I wonder if there isn't another equally probable explanation there, Mr. Bannon. One less to do with the living and more to do with those who passed. And, and dumbbells. Obviously, you have to have the dumbbells. They were vital to the character arc. I mean, you can't do heroics without a quick bench press. Well, let's see if the spirits are willing to illuminate further on this mystery. Next yeah, one yeah, I want to yeah, do is this one. It's in the script. That's why they're liking the <laughs> What are they going to throw at them? Something went terribly wrong, and the one man paid the price. The question we want to answer is, was it really an accident, or was something more sinister at work? Something sinister, that's funny, that's what Dad said in the court case. They <laughs> said sinister conspiracy. Oh, oh please, Mr. Brown. Oh, I'm sensing something. Something oh, well. the presence here needs us oh, to pay attention to. They intend to lead us to our final destination, hopefully a revelation. Do you hear that, Patrick? Yeah, I, I can hear something, actually. Well, it sounds to me like an old song, probably from the show itself. Yeah, it's, it's the theme tune. It's the theme tune to that show. Uh, he used to hum it all the time while he was reading and then burning all of his fan mail. <laughs> There's no time to lose. Let's go see what that spectral sign entails. What? The prop store was the lair of Cedric Sloan, master prop maker on Bannon's field production. Oh, yeah. After Brent Backflip's accident, rumors concerning the prop dumbbells shone the cold, hard light of suspicion directly on the prop master. This would not be the first time a faulty or misused prop would lead to a hospital visit. So this is wardrobe, workshop, props. This is lights. Oh. We come to what? the prop store where the, many of the, the music like stopped. The started at the time. It that was, was weird. By a sergeant, Cedric okay. Sloan, a man who was dishonorably discharged for assaulting an officer, a man who was known to have a problem with authority, a man for whom many questioned why he was hired on this production in the first place. Uh, please come join me, Mr. Bannon. Mm -hmm. Was that all true, was it? About, about the props guy assaulting an officer in the army and getting booted out? Yes. He had quite a temper. 
Did our Mr. Slow many pointed the finger at him after the accident, citing a dispute between him and your father? Is that boobies? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Sorry. My father. He told me so himself. Well, I can only go on what I researched, and the spirit will tell me, Mr. Bannon. And as they chose to bring some poor the lighting last, in this area, I can always assume we'll get some answers. Finally, for you. These here are the props, which many say cause Brent backflip to fall. These are the instruments for sabotage employed by Cedric Sloan to bring down your father's last show and exact revenge for his airs of superiority. If that do listen to be believed. Oh, it's a shame they can't talk. I'm sure their insights will be fascinating. Indeed, Mr. Barry. But since they cannot, Cedric Sloan's ghost can. His phantom is tied up with these air dumbbells, and I can use them to communicate. <laughs> oh, God, here we go. Are you okay? Is that you, Graham? Is that you? No, no, no. no. It's, 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 it's Patrick, isn't it? You know that, Wayne. Her name's not Wayne. Her name is Cedric Sloan. And if you're not good, then you're a fucking doppelganger. Oh, I missed the button! Weasel face more like. Graham was a fucking snitch. I bet you would have fucking said, would you? It's hardly fair. Oh, really? What you did know, he made everyone do his work for him, didn't you? I forgot about the censoring. Oh, man. Bucking on, <gasps> made his hand build up for me. He well, loves the F word. That'll work, do it anyway. I'm glad he's fucking production failed. If only to see a look on his face when he found out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've, look, I've got some questions for you, Mr. Sloan. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, was it your fault that the production failed? Did, did you switch out the real dumbbells for the prop dumbbells? Uh, is it your Is it your fault that uh, Brent backflip broke his legs? Yeah. I wish. Ah, more fool me, I thought. This music's kind of cool, though. I like this. Go on with me, Joe. Got through the production. I might actually go on and do something actually worthwhile. But no. Little did I know, Graham fucking Bannon and his cat fucking show would drag every single one of us down with him. Fucking pathetic. Well, fuck you, Graham Bannon. Fuck you with my last breath. We want you to Get off. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry there, Mr. Bannon. Sometimes when spirits try and communicate, I have <laughs> he to got all of his anger things. out so fast. Yeah, sure, right. Um, yeah, it was incredibly impressive. Yeah. <laughs> actually, uh, you might be interested to know, Wayne, that Mr. Sloan was very aggressive actually towards both me and my father. Yeah, I'm um, sorry, but I'm afraid sometimes spirits can contain residual emotions from their previous lives, and that's what they pass on in their messages. But at least that picture's gonna change at some point. Points. I can feel it in my bones. What was that? What the Cedric Sloan didn't cause the accident. Why? Because he spoke through you and said that he didn't. I mean, he could be lying. No. This one had Ghosts nothing going on. Lie, Mr. Bannon. They have no Except for like a baby on. doll that's broken. That. These here uh, dumbbells definitely haven't been tampered with. That's. Wouldn't interfere with the stuntman scene, which means someone else caused the accident. So I suppose they are a bit light to do any real damage. Yeah, what we need to do now is focus on the cause of the fire. But first, but this camera was like we pointless. Have put some never before seen footage filmed by a crew documenting the making of your father's final show. Yeah, Dad said it was always too damaged to be of, be of any use, so better it never saw the light of day. Tonight, Whoa. On live and spooky. We stand by to play the footage. But ourselves. Two. Let's watch. Got it. Nicely done. I'm your host, Harold Repartee, and this is the nation's nightfall report. Tonight we bring you a special program where we take a closer look behind the scenes of a forthcoming sure. television sensation. Masterminded by Graham Bannon, seen here. It's a shame all the film crew was damaged in the fire. I thought maybe something would show up in the background of that one. Bannon 
Japan has just completed construction on this state of the art studio and production Signal facility. Signal wireless reconnecting. <laughs> Ugh, I hate that noise. I'm doing like goose pimples and nothing scary is really happening. <laughs> Rehearsals are now well underway here, and it seems Bannon is quite the taskmaster. The guy who plays Bannon. Huh? Oh, what? Right? The guy who plays Bannon is so good. It's certainly unexpected for a family variety act to be catapulted so quickly into the spotlight. But if the executive's queuing around the block or anything to go by, these new okay. scripts of his must be really something So if strange. this fucks up, I have to put it back onto the green. Okay. Welcome back to live and spooky Bannon's Fall. Before the break, we explored a number of rooms in this old building, the long abandoned Bannon soundstage. And while the spirit world is Nani? ever present, oh, okay. it can only be felt in certain places and at certain times. So what exactly caused the accident then, Wayne? Well, Mr. Bannon, while we did follow some spectral signs during our preliminary investigations, we were unfortunately unable to discover the true cause of the accident so long ago that marked the beginning of Graham Bannon's woes. And normally, the spirit world uses a couple of signs to point us in the right direction before finally revealing their message for us. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't find out what caused the accident. They normally find something in the final room. Communication and conveyance. Indeed, and it's there that this trick lets us down, but it has been known to happen on rare occasions. I am confident, however, that we'll be able to uncover the truth of the fire, the next unlucky event in the production's history. Yes, it was never actually proven at the time, but blame was unofficially placed on Marie Murphy, the costume girl, who sadly was found dead shortly after on these premises. Hopefully tonight, we'll be able to find out exactly why. Oh, planning on finding some clearer talking ghosts, are we, Wayne? <laughs> well, funny you should ask Patrick. As you might be the one they're talking to. Uh, thanks to Dr. Ahmed's incredible ingenuity, we now have the ability to cover the rest of the building, not one room at a time, but Who's simultaneously. That? Oh, yeah, oh, Alex, if you don't calibrate the screw jam correctly, uh -huh. by the time that bar fills up, Garrison, the polarity Wait. will become misaligned, and it'll take a while for it to restabilize and get But back I didn't get to. Here. There's a built-in light service over here. Oh, you should did that on purpose, you shit. For it. Um, and should you run into any darker environments? Excellent, Doctor. Uh, she you. did that on purpose. Uh, no, I'm hearing something. Yes, the great beyond is asking for you, my pet. Come over here. Yes, yes. You're the one we need. I'm quite certain of it. How do I turn it back what on? What a pleasure it is to uh -oh. be joined by uh, this lovely creature. Creature. At the moment, I saw that I just knew she'd be wanted here. By the spirit, of course. What's your name, darling? My name's Holly. Lovely. And what is it you do normally, Holly? I'm He's Patrick's. Yeah. Kind of creepy. Mr. Bannon, Mr. Bannon's assistant. I'm his long suffering, ever so understanding assistant. No, to be honest, it's probably because nobody else wanted the job. Well, <laughs> I have a feeling that she might even be integral to tonight's event. But don't worry, there is nothing to be nervous about, love. Dr. Ahmed and I are professionals. We've been doing this for years, and we would never let anything happen to you. Right then! Let's split up, explore the building, following our instincts and the signs that the ghosts leave for us, hoping to uncover some clues as to what really happened in that fire all those years ago. Right, and this is all safe, is it? I mean, I'm not massively keen on the idea of me and my staff having to wander around the building on our own, in the dark, with this poxy thing, climbing up ladders, running downstairs. Sounds to me like a health and safety nightmare. Catch it. Calm down. I'm sure everything will be fine. And besides, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Am I right? 
Absolutely, Mr. Bannon. Don't worry, you're in safe hands with us. This is still turned yeah. off. Market. Excellent. Uh, home now, friends. We have a haunted building to explore and some mysteries to uncover. Oh. Ooh. Many? Oh, it's back. Okay. So you see those readouts on their screens? That shows how safe they are from spiritual yeah, interference. They're nice and calm and green, so no problems there. Each area. Hello? 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 Spooky ghost echo. To the depths of the Bannon sound stage. So there's so much over here. You can do it, it's just the wind. Okay, I seem to be in a sort of. Oh! I don't know if you can see this, in a oh. sort of uh, oh. uh, lighting thing now. Oh. Can't much longer, can it? Oh. Got... How do I help him? Um... How do I help him? Can you see this? Oh god. I don't really want to see this. What? Hello? Did I help him? Wait, how do I fix this one? I've seen enough horror things to know. You, you, you don't, you don't, you don't. Don't go towards the light, do you? If I don't fix yeah. that, would he have you died? You, you don't go towards the light. That's probably not what we wanted to do anyway, so you know. Okay. Okay, I'm going up some stairs now. I don't know if you heard that, but there seems to be a lot of spiritual energy. I'm heading down towards pitch black. Um don't think I'm very good at this. Okay. We're down. Sacrifice I... one, or I'll take the last. What? What? <gasps> there is no such thing as ghost. I don't want to sacrifice any of them. I guess if I had to sacrifice one, I can sacrifice the doctor. Because then they don't have a no. they don't have a professional anymore, no, and then they have to struggle, you know. Oh, I have a cat behind no. me. Okay, okay. Um. Oh god. I heard that they're gonna take the last. Okay. There's thin stuff here. Let me turn this round. Some of the old equipment. Part of the equipment tends to hold a much much bigger presence, which is why the EMF readers go off the charts at times. These were all used back in the day in the kind of show. Graham Bannon, Marie Murphy. Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I think I see some lights. Oh no. I don't know if you're getting this, but... Those lights... Could be some kind of spiritual energy. Are they really gonna take... Someone? Are they really going to sacrifice someone? Because there's some equipment that will take a better reading. Okay, let's head back. I can't... And see what we can get, okay? I can't film someone's death on TV. I'll sort of track back the way I came. And see if we can pick it up around the other side. Oh, stairs. More stairs. Fine. <laughs> I'll stop the building. I'm not sure I should go around that corner, I tell you, because I'm gonna try to save him. There, and I'm not sure what it is. Um, I'm gonna try to save him. Uh, there shouldn't be any light down there, it's just me into the camera. You can't save them all. I'm gonna try. <gasps> Because of the shape of the light, uh, I think I'm going to go towards it. It looks like a warm, welcoming light. Alright, my loves. 
I'm here. Calm down, yeah? Calm down. That's it, good? That's it, good? Yes. Hello. All right, darling. I'm here, OK? No, no, no. This isn't what we discussed. Calm, yeah? We're all... No, no. That's not very nice, is it? Very. Now, how can I help you? Now, how can I help you? Oh, don't go all silent on me. Ah, sulking isn't going to help, is it? Talk to me. <laughs> That's better. So, he's right behind you, dude. Get in peace. Yeah. <laughs> is that right? I hate that face. Peace. I don't like that face at all. Kill more. You already took one. You're not allowed to kill more. These evil figures are off the chance to get as close. Some kind of spiritual energy through there. Oh. I think my door opened by itself. Ah, uh, I hate the heartbeat thing. It's like there's a lot of spiritual energy here, mm -hmm. so I think we're gonna go. Oh, my hair got all feeling weird. His camera's like permanently gone, I think. Oh, God. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> my mouse I jumped. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> <sighs> She's just like me. That's exactly what I would be doing. I think I can use space for the sensor too, so I, I probably didn't have to do that. It's fine. Probably just... Really? We're good. We're good. Is that the same door? A different door. <gasps> Jesus, you just saw that door, right? Oh, fuck. Nope. I did not turn up for this shit. I'm gonna find a different way. <laughs> I like her. She's what realistic. What the fuck am I doing here? Um. <laughs> terrifying. <laughs> He's oh, hilarious. God. I can't remember. Not worth it. Uh oh. And this dust, everything is caked in dust. I don't think so. This is fucking ridiculous. <laughs> There's a door again. Uh... <laughs> His reactions are hilarious. Choose one. No. I will. No. No, don't kill him! He was my favorite! Yeah, I'll be, uh... I'll be right. He was my favorite! Hello? You can't take him! Spirits, are you in here? Spirits, or you in here? Phantom or Spectre or whatever you like to be called. Oh, okay. Uh... G guess I better go investigate this then. Uh, okay. Hmm. What have we over here? Uh, typewriter, lamp, boxes, uh, falcon in a little box, uh, books and um, script for dying is another man's job. Written by. No. Yeah, I'm pretty much done now. Thank you very much. Um, no more scary things for me, thank you. I will be off. Aha! Uh -huh. You've locked the door, haven't you? Very funny. That's very funny. But I will be going. Thank you so much. So, 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 please open up. 
Yes. He tried to scare me and it's not working! <laughs> this one don't pass at me! Who the fuck did that? No, I'm done, thank you, no more this bullshit! Woo. That was close. You gonna hear his scream? Did Graham already die and become a ghost? Patrick? I tried to save them all. You can't Patrick? say I didn't try. Patrick? No. Don't be stupid. <laughs> you don't be stupid. Okay. You can do this. It's just a show. Hmm? Frank. Through one of the hallways this could lead to. Um, any one of the rooms. Oh, wait, the Graham is his dad. My bad. Oh, okay, I think I think I hear. It sounds like Patrick. Oh, Mr. Bannon? Mr. Bannon, can you hear me? The last is mine. No! We're filming a ghost right now, by the way. <laughs> huh? Oh, everyone likes this. Okay, it sounds like for sure Z's that girl's dead. Okay, Ollie. You can do this. And just 
open your eyes. On three. One, two, three. See? It's fine. Something Just get the fuck out of there. Get out of there. If anyone finds this later, if I don't get out, here's what I know, or at least what I'm guessing. I seem to have gotten into the projection room. Oh. There's some storage over here. What was that? All of these, like, did a thing. On what looks like the remnants of the fire. There's some they the tapes in there. In the scripts. Oh my god. Strange that it's still here after all this time. I mean, I don't want to clean up a haunted building either. <laughs> This would be a really fun escape room. As requested, we've gathered all Just original saying. manuscripts for you, even copies previously taken off site. We hope. Oh. Why would somebody want all the copies brought together? Well, too late for that question, I guess now. No, I wonder if this thing actually works. It's so cool to watch stuff on this back in the day. <gasps> oh, wow. <gasps> so cool. Hello. Bam. Is that... Graham? Oh, Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> That was loud. Bad and bad and bad and. Trip to the zoo. Visiting Great Aunt Ruth just one more time. To me, did that door get no darker? The the I can't gone. tell. That's I don't right. like that. It's Ban and Brad. Jet setting across the globe. <laughs> the this is actually kind of spooky. The salmon industry. You know it. It's Ban and. Other brands have gotten away with poor quality products. Until now. It's so good, I put my banner name on it. <laughs> How could you go anywhere else? You couldn't. Not without banner. <laughs> and that's a Bannon promise you can trust. The guy has, In like, fact, a very punchable face. I love it. <laughs> Not saying I'd punch someone. It's just, you know. Right. That should hold off any ghosts. Oh, God, what am I doing here? In all my years as being his PA, this has to be the most ridiculous thing I've had to do. Still, I hope he's all right. I guess. And the others. I just. And the others. I just wish this was over. You're the last one, girl. Look, I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to. And I don't want to be here. If that doesn't happen, and somebody finds this later. I suppose a better sign off. I wonder if I could have sacrificed. The battery's dying. And other people. This is my only light. My name is Holly. Take a closer look at the television project sensation. Oh, he was dark. I knew it. I was like, why is my light off? Bannon, there's no rest for the wicked. It's all they all know it. Jesus Christ on a bike. That was a ride. Oh, he's alive. This must be the vault. Below Hi. the stage. Oh. Greetings, my friends. If you're still with us, <laughs> join me 
Hi. Hi. Can I put you back? Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the finale of tonight's live. Go back. Go back. Get out of here. This wasn't exactly as I expected to get here, but it's not on head of for an entity to bring only those with the gift of clairvoyance to them. But of course, only I, Wayne the Spirit Whistle, will be able to communicate with them either in this world or their own. Marie? It is you, isn't it, Marie? <laughs> it is me. Don't fear me, okay, love? I may be powerful, but I'm also kind. Speak through me, Marie, so I can put you to rest. Come on, we're up against the clock. Let's not upset the adversaries. Uh, so, uh, that's all we have time for. Can I show that on TV? What do I do? Was actually some spirit shit there. <laughs> so, Graham Bannon was there, but he didn't stop it. Holy shit. Oh, she was holding a reel. Oh, okay. Oh my way, this is gold. You struck gold, Wayne. Oh, okay, Marie. I hear you. I understand you. Don't you worry. I'll make sure this film is put to good use. Extremely good use. So, I'll leave you to it then, okay, love? No, I'm I saw something in there. Let me out. Oh, I kill you. Oh, no. Oh, uh, uh, run, bro. Run. No, no, no. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just a bit of a laugh. Just entertainment. I didn't mean any harm, honestly. I really didn't. Hey, look. Take it. Take it. It's yours. I don't worry. came to say goodbye. Goodbye? That's what I said, ain't it? What about <laughs> your manuscript? I couldn't have done it without you. Do you really mean that? You call me a liar, kid. I can't tell you how happy that makes me. Well, I guess this is it. Must I go? This is the way it has to be. But remember, I'll never forget you, Mary. Do you promise? Trust my heart and hope to die. <laughs> and dying is another man's job. Cross my heart and hope to die, but dying is someone else. So he's the crossing heart guy and the other guy's the dying guy? What? What? <laughs> Gosh, old American movies were so weird. They're emulating it to a T. <laughs> feeling every ghost that's gonna be in this DLC absolutely detests Graham Bannon. Oh! The 
it's not coming on this screen at all. You ended in the prop store. You discovered that the prop master was not to blame, but no real. To the vault, to the projection room, no real. Spirit Whistle attempted to sell the film. Oh. So there's like a legit mystery happening. And I fucked it up hard. I want to try it again. Does I kind of want to get try it again? Um. Okay, so we know the prop maker didn't kill. Oh, I can hold this. Tonight on Channel One, huh? I'm going to be grouting with pop star Skinny. And I'm going to be showing Arthur and Katie from the Sunny Happy Playhouse team how to what tell their bits from their pieces. So be sure to tune in to Channel One tonight for a new improved season of Just, Just the, the Job. Tonight at 9 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> They're having more DLC. <laughs> That's so cool. Good evening. I'm Megan Moore. Okay. I'm Jeremy Dawes. So I'll here's the thing. We know the prop maker didn't do it. Daddy, and the first place they go to is the wardrobe. So it could either be I need to send them to lighting or I need to send them to the workshop. I I want to send them to lighting last cuz like when you think of a fire you think of maybe like an electrical mishap. Well, so very blunt let's try it one more time. Advance is lying to you. Day 85 level squeaky segment three. No, I don't want to be segment three. And have confidence that the team will keep. Okay. Um, so we'll change that up by having them end in the uh, That's okay. lighting. Room. And then the second, I want to have Patrick survive to the very end. I want Patrick to survive to the very end because uh, he, I don't know what he'll do with the burn wheel, reel or if she'll just straight up attack him outright. So that's what I'm going to do. Ah, Winston, welcome to your voluntary, see also compulsory yep, 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 night yep. shift. Now, it's a little different from the news, but tonight you'll be working I'm so on happy nothing popular hit came through here. reality TV shows. I hear they're all the rage. Obviously, no one important has to do the graveyard shift, so I'll be clocking out now. I'll leave you in the capable hands of Diane. Toodaloo. Toodaloo. Hi, Alex. Welcome to the live and spooky team. Tonight, we're broadcasting live from an old film studio which is haunted by the vengeful spirit of a woman found dead in the basement. You know, standard stuff. Just before we start, we don't do adverts here, but we do have some old film reels to play in. The projector is hooked into your advert oh, yeah. buttons I turn everything and will automatically on. select the correct reel for us. <laughs> if you look down under the desk, you'll see what I mean. There she is. The Adomatic Cinejector Mark III. Only one like it in the world. It self-loads the films for you and then converts them so they're ready to be broadcast. Unfortunately, all three reels are badly fire damaged. But no other copies exist, so we'll just have to make do with bits missing. Just remember to hit the add button at the end of each segment to play the films. Oh, and that device on the right, that's the spirit jammer. It prevents any wayward or malicious spirits from interfering with the show. Honestly, Gareth knocked it up in his garage and I don't think it does anything. But he assures me it's set correctly, so just... I just love the fact that, like, knocked it, it up in American terms does not mean just 
put it together. <laughs> Knocked it up means something channel. totally different. <laughs> now, without further ado, it's time to turn out the lights. All right, Wayne, we're going loyal to five. Uh, let's see. The first person who got into trouble. Are you me, Wayne? So I want to make Patrick the survivor. And this time I'm going to send them to the prop maker and then the light room. That is the sound, sound of, of fate. fate. Have you, Have you ever, ever heard fate? Right behind, behind you with a dagger in its back and a hand of leer on its lips? <laughs> I have. Good evening, my friends. friends. Both in this realm and mm. the next. Tonight we've come to a wretched place to uncover a dangerous case. Welcome to the Bannon Sound Stage. Once a thriving studio at the forefront of innovation until tragedy. So that thing was just standing a here. Accident, a and then this keeps turning off, pissing me off. <laughs> and this light too. How dare. Join me, Wayne, the spirit whistle, spiritual medium, psychic communicator, lover. Did this ever change? I didn't notice. As I attempt to uncover the dark truth. Actually get to hear what they're saying but it sounds like she's trying to be really nice to him and he's being nice back so at one point they hate each other This old features a very special guest, journalist, broadcaster, and all round truth seeker, Patrick Bannon. Good evening, Wayne. You excited to join us tonight? I'm excited, Wayne. I can't say I'm excited about all this dust, though. It plays havoc with my allergies. Now, Patrick. Oh, what's that, love? Oh, my. My Patrick. I wish there was a way I'm to skip forward just a little bit. World. I'm hearing something that might shake your world to its very foundation. Is it true that you are, in fact, the mm, one and me. only son of Graham Bannon? <laughs> well, yeah, excuse I mean, me. never knows that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the EMF reading is off the charts. And of course, See, because, like, this whole beginning part doesn't matter, really. The only part that matters Doctor is the fact that you got to send them to rooms to solve the mystery. Forgive me, Mr. Bannon, I'm so sorry. Sometimes I forget that not everyone is as well versed in the terminology as myself and Mr. De Spirit Whistle here. So, EMF stands for Electric Magnetic Field. Essentially, it is a measurable energy signature given off by all forms of spectral phenomena. Mm -hmm. And that thing being off the charts, is that, is that a good thing or is that a bad thing for us? Well, I mean, Higher tends to mean that there is either a stronger presence or even multiple presences. Mm. <laughs> and of course, seeing that we're in the business of hunting ghosts, I'd say yes, it's definitely a good thing, Patrick. Mm. Words to trust there, Mr. Bannon. Our doctor here is the foremost expert in metaphysical science. What do you have for us this evening, Pet? Well, I've actually stumbled onto something of a breakthrough here, Wayne. <laughs> I've managed to actually expand the light spectrum visible. She to the reminds human me of a female version a of Moss glasses. from IT Crowd. This cutting edge technology <laughs> actually allows me to see into the spirit world. I oh, love yes. it. Let's get the ghost cam switched on. Oscillating optoelectronics. Boom! Ah! What was that for? 
branching, oscillating, octahedral, optoelectronics. Oh, yes, exactly. That's what I said. <laughs> but of course, I do need a shorter name for that now, don't I? Oh. <laughs> Please stop doing that. Yes, Mr. Banner, please do stop scaring poor Dr. Ahmed. Please continue, Doctor. Thank you, Mr. De Spirit Whistle. So, tonight, we will be utilising utilizing my standard surveillance kit, which, of course, includes night vision capabilities. Should we come into any problematic darkness, let's say? Oh, and additionally, I have taken the liberty of installing my branching up um, new devices all over the building. Tonight, we might actually be able to broadcast the image of a ghost for the very first time. Oh, exciting stuff, now. And now, Patrick, <laughs> your father his built this place at the height of his illustrious career. That's right. The year was 1956. Hot off his success in music hall venues. This one's the easiest because, like, I just have it on this one Bannon, thing. Suddenly produces a TV script. A script that blows the mind of studio execs and leaves them scrapping over who will get to make it. It was called Dying is Another Man's Job. Since I'm going to be sacrificing people, like, right off the bat, uh, it's going to be pretty fast, I think. It's going to be a lot faster than the first time I played it. Ah, superstardom. Superstardom. Something much more sinister. Three disasters struck, each more calamitous than the last. Okay. Shortly after the tragic so we have the fire. We have the fall, and we have the hanging. The girl was hung. There was a guy who fell. It broke him. This place. And then there's the fire. My father had it all: charm, talent, the Weasleyish good looks of me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was thinking. The fate came in and cruelly stole it all away. A built in '57, the Bannon Sound Stage was to be the home of a brand new televisual sensation of a scale never seen on our screens before. Oh, that damned woman. Ah! The spirit. Doomed to roam the wings and the halls forevermore. An unfortunate accident, a raging inferno, a tragic loss of life. Theft these walls, cursed forever. Of course, production was shut down following Marie Murphy's mysterious passing. And since then, there have been misguided attempts to make use of this very building. None survived. What? Succeeded. <laughs> None succeeded. Sorry, succeeded. Uh, we'll investigate those tales as we delve deep into the ruins of this once flourishing enterprise. <gasps> wait, wait! Who's there? <laughs> A spirit? A spirit beckons. <gasps> them as well ah yes no i think yes she wants to give us a sign no i know it shh, everyone shh. any moment now so speak to me look. wait it didn't oh tell i don't oh have to take them to wardrobe goodness. first i could have sent them somewhere else first Some sort of a don't waste your time. <laughs> Didn't notice them, like... <laughs> the costume room was the place where poor bred backflips failed harness costume was created. It was the home to the late costume designer Marie Murphy, one of the suspects in this insidious mystery. And, most terrifying of all, it contains dangerous amounts of noxious fabric. Okay. Excuse me. Here we are, Patrick, our first stop. The wardrobe department. Why is it you think the spirit okay. brought us here first? Well, makes a lot of sense, why Many people would say that this is where the accident was caused. But that injured stuntman, Brent Backflip. That's exactly right. Well, say more, say more. Well, wouldn't like to point fingers, wife. 
But if I were going to, and I am going to, I'd point all eight of mine and my thumbs squarely at Marie Murphy. The costume designer. The very same. In this room, Wayne, at that desk, probably, she sat there Wait. making the costumes for the show. The costume with a harness that failed and plunged an innocent man to his death. Brent Backflip didn't die, though, did he? But... Then Marie, die, I thought it was the actress. The to his death sounds better than saying plunged to multiple comminuted fractures. And what do you think happened to the harness? Well, I wouldn't like to speculate, Wade. But if I were going to, and I am going to, I'd say poor workmanship, laziness, foolhardiness. Basically, she dropped the ball. And the ball was a man. So I love that line so much. She dropped the ball, and the ball was a man. <laughs> Absolutely. Look, look, we all make mistakes, but sometimes mistakes cost lives, or in this case, legs. <laughs> we have Daddy Patrick, the dead. Edge us forward. Give us a sigh. Are we getting this? Tell me we're getting this. My God. It looks like what a jellyfish would see. On acid. They're showing us something. <laughs> Some sort of light. Yes, lights. The only place in this building with lots of lights. The stage. Exactly. Quickly. The departed on patience. Two. One. The stage is the location of Brent Backflip's failed stunt where he plunged to the ground below. It is situated above the long sealed vault and the dark secrets it contains. This is where the cameras would roll, both figuratively and literally, at least until the installation of bricks. Okay, so this is where it happened. I think I'm getting closer and closer to. Patrick, the spirit today. Oh, this is where that one. He died. Or not died, but. Well, wait, in this room is where the mishap happened. The negligent maiming of a stunt double. Oh, no, 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 a tragic accident uh, for which liability was ever legally established. An important distinction. Graham, stunt double, Brent, I'm talking to you now. If you're out there, show us a sign. Because I don't think props had anything to do with this. Um, oh, no, I'm getting an impression of many, many people. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, my dad had a lot of doubles. Uh, he had his stunt doubles, uh, hand doubles, body doubles. Does uh, Robert mean anything to you? Uh, uh, Robert was his scale double, that's right. For either he was uh, shrunk or really, really far away in the distance. And now I'm seeing two. Yes, two two men that came as a pair, yes. Did you take that? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be Paul and Barry. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And who were they, Patrick? Uh, they were his arse doubles. Two ass doubles. Yeah, yeah, one for each cheek. Uh, my dad was a little symmetrical and a stickler for details. Well, I'm getting the impression an from, ass this double? from this energy <laughs> that they are not happy, Patrick. Do you understand that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were not happy. Yeah, they're not happy. They were constantly fighting for my dad's attention for their big break. Uh, oh, and let's just say Brent backflips certainly got their backs up. Yes. Yeah, I know. But, you know, tell us specifically. Oh, well, well, let's just say Brent couldn't keep his muffins in his tin. Oh, he fucked around? Yeah, 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 he fucked around, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let's just say that the grandfather <laughs> weren't exactly filled with some more watercress. <laughs> they were pissed off. That's why they were fucking pissed off, yes. And so, uh, what you're saying, Patrick, is there were an awful lot of men who all looked eerily similar, who all had it in for Brent Backflip. Well, I've been particularly dramatic then, yeah. Oh, enough, enough. We've said too much. We must go if we're to find the truth. I feel a tickling from across the barrier. Do you feel it? I thought that was you. <laughs> they wish to take us to our final stop, where surely we will find that which we seek. Workshop. Yes, yeah, something's coming through. Uh, wait, is something supposed to Hush, Patrick. Can you smell that? A very distinct earthy odour. Oh really? Oh, I've got it now. I've got something. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> the, the perfume of labour. A real working environment. Yeah, yeah, certainly something. Uh, are we looking for a farm or a zoo or something? Uh, no. Uh, a world of Oh, it's the same lines, short, just in a different room. Gosh, the actors are so good. Um, I love this game. Where, where people would gather to work together. Uh, the work 
shop. Ah. Uh. Course. This way, Patrick, our next clue must be there. All right. The workshop performed the final checks on all props, sets, and costumes before they were used for filming. Okay. So we there went have from. There no direct ties between this place and Brent Backflip's accident. Yet. What terrible secrets might this dusty domain contain? Because, like, we have the wardrobe, we have the set, so now we have the place where that gets the final checks. Uh-oh, it did it again. The sounds are gone. We were always going to end up here at the workshop. That might be a small bug that the game developers might have to fix. Inconsequential? Yeah. No, Mr. Bannon, quite the opposite. The moment we got here, I sensed that there was something important to uncover. The very walls themselves are crying out for us to listen. And I wonder, what do you know of this place's construction? Well, I feel like it's pretty much public knowledge at this point. Uh, but my father, the illustrious Graham Bannon, set out to design the ultimate television production palace. And my father's career was at its height. The only way he could go was up, and everyone knew it. Indeed, indeed. So it's fair to say the fabric of this building is a testament to your father's legacy. Which is why we have to ask, how could such a sad and terrible accident happen on his watch? Come on, I mean, it wasn't his fault, was it? He wasn't a bloody stuntman that fell. He wasn't a costume person who messed up the harness. And he certainly didn't make those stupid prop dumbbells. No, no, no. My father was too busy running things. Yes, directing, producing, writing, you know, the important stuff. I wonder, Mr. Bannon, if there isn't something to be said for each of those stories. Take the stuntman, for example. He was... A professional, was he not? Well, he was supposed to be, uh, but my father said he was in fact a drunk and an incompetent. Well, I wonder, Mr. Bannon, which version is two? Both? Or maybe... Neither. The woman in charge of wardrobe and set design came under a large amount of scrutiny. Brent's harness broke, after all, and she made his costume. Some say she wanted to sabotage Graham's new show. That seems pretty bloody likely, to be honest, if you ask me. My dad said she was at fault for everything that went wrong with the Sounds show. Sounds like your dad blamed everyone. Doing anything he asked. Well, of course, given who he was, Graham Bannon would have known better than most. But I wonder, could something else have contributed? The final factor was the iconic prop from the film, Percival Pedal's Dumbbells, incorrectly made so heavy that he put too much strain on both the man and the system keeping him aloft. Which will point the finger at Mr. Sloan, prop master for the production. You know, it all seems to me that my father had to battle through an army of incompetence. I mean, it's a wonder anything ever got made at all. Perhaps, Mr. Bannon, perhaps. Mr. Sloan certainly could have been the cause, but maybe, just maybe, it was something fouler still. Hmm. So, uh, so which one was it then? Well, I'm afraid we are, unfortunately, a victim of my own natural talent. I'm incredibly sensitive to communications from the other side, as we all know, and here in this workshop, all three of these stories come together, meaning the spirits are trying to tell me multiple things at once. It's as if their messages to me are too loud, like they're shouting over one another. I can't quite pick out any individual voice. You may be unable to solve this part of your father's tale of all tonight. Right, very right, hard. So what you're saying is that you're so psychic you can't be psychic. <laughs> yes, exactly. But don't worry, Mr. Bannon. There are plenty of other places we can go where I'm sure the spirits will be clearer in their messages. We have a great deal to explore at the haunted Bannon soundstage to uncover the real story of what led to the creation now known as his Cares Show. But before then, we've uncovered some previously lost footage, a documentary capturing the filming of Dying is Another Man's Job. 
Yes, it was originally damaged in the fire, so never made its way. Indeed, Mr. Bannon. Indeed, but believe me, it is most enlightening. Stand by to play the footage. I'm your host, Harold Repartee, and this is the nation's nightfall report. Tonight we bring you a Medicine special spray. program where we take a closer look behind the scenes of a forthcoming hmm. television sensation. Masterminded by Graham Bannon, seen here. Oh, it made me jump a little. <laughs> untitled, promises to revolutionize entertainment. Bannon has just completed construction on this state-of-the-art studio and production facility. With a price tag into the millions, it's a move that has raised eyebrows across the business world. Rehearsals are now well underway here, and it seems Bannon is quite the taskmaster. Is he complaining that his water's not a specific temperature? Oof. However, there have been suggestions that things are not as they seem. certainly unexpected for a family variety act to be catapulted so quickly into the spotlight. But if the executives queuing around the block or anything to go by, these new scripts of his must be really something special. Welcome back to live. The ghost controlled it for me. So I can't actually control the sound. We explored a number of rooms in this old building, the long abandoned Bannon sound stage. And while the spirit world is ever present, it can only be felt in certain places and at certain times. So what exactly caused the accident then, Wayne? Well, Mr. Bannon, while we did follow some spectral signs during our preliminary investigations, we were unfortunately unable to discover the true cause of the accident so long ago that marked the beginning of Graham Bannon's woes. And normally, the spirit world uses a couple of signs to point us in the right direction before finally revealing their message for us. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's a shame we didn't find out what caused the accident. They normally find something in the final room. So I did it wrong! What if the wardrobe room is supposed to be the last room? <laughs> Let's all down, but it has or the sound room is supposed to be the last on one. Occasions. I am confident, however, that we'll be able to uncover the tooth at the fire, the next unlucky event in the production's history. Dang it. Yes, it was never okay. actually proven at the time, but blame was unofficially placed on Marie Murphy, the costume girl, who sadly was found dead shortly after on these premises. Hopefully tonight, we'll be able to find out exactly why. Oh, planning on finding some clearer talking ghosts, are we, Wayne? <laughs> well... Funny you should ask. Okay, so Patrick, now it's time to sacrifice some people. You might be the one they're talking to. <laughs> Thanks to Dr. Ahmed's incredible ingenuity, we now have the ability to cover the rest of the building, not one room at a time, but. Gosh, those cameras are so big! Oh, yeah, oh, Alex, if you don't calibrate the spirit jump correctly by the time that bar fills up, well, let me. the polarity will become misaligned, and it'll take a while for it to restabilize and get back up and running again. There's a built-in light service over here, should you find the need for it. Um, and should you run into any darker environments? Excellent, Doctor. Uh, thank you. Ah, no, I'm hearing something. Yes, the great beyond is oh, sorry. asking for you, my pet. Come over here. Yes, yes. You're the one we need. I'm quite certain of it. What a pleasure it is to be joined by this lovely creature. At the moment I saw her, so I just knew she'd she be survived here. in my last yeah, playthrough. Of course. What's your name, darling? And technically, he Holly. survived too. Me. And what is it you do normally, Holly? I'm Patrick. <laughs> Mr. Bannon, Mr. Bannon's assistant. I'm his long-suffering, ever-so-understanding assistant. Though, to be honest, it's probably because nobody else wanted the job. Well... <laughs> I, I love that so much. <laughs> <tonight's laughs> but don't worry, there is nothing to be nervous about. Look, Dr. Ahmed and I are professionals. We've been doing this for years, and we would never let anything happen to you. 
Right then, let's split up, explore the building, following our instincts and the signs that the ghosts leave for us, hoping to uncover some clues as to what really happened in that fire all those years ago. Right, and this is all safe, is it? I mean, I'm not massively keen on the idea of me and my staff having to wander around the building on our own, in the dark, with this poxy thing, climbing up ladders, running downstairs. Sounds to me like a health and safety nightmare. Patrick, calm down. I'm sure everything will be fine. And besides, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Am I right? Absolutely, Mr. Bannon. Don't worry, you're in safe hands with us. <laughs> well, all right, good. Excellent. Uh, come now, friends. We have a haunted building to explore and so I'm going to sacrifice to these two as soon as possible. Uh, who is the first one that went? It's the first one that went. Ah, I I remember now. The first that one shows how safe they are from spiritual interference. was the main spirit dude, green, and he so technically I lived at the end. Um, so oh I'll oh. kill Bannon first. I don't know if you guys can see this. If that's Basil. the case. Spooky ghost. Basil. You know, I don't actually remember agreeing to specifically wander around in the dark on my own. Water trickling, and normally when you're going low and you hear water, it's like the river sticks. To be in a sort of, if you can see this, in a sort of uh, uh, lighting thing now. Should I kill him? Should I kill How him? How much longer can it? I've got... I feel like I should Is kill him. A... Can you see this? I'm sorry, dude. I'm going. I'm going to oh, kill God. you. <laughs> Hello. I'll fuck it up for you, dude. Wait, you're fixing it. Stop it. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> In the lighting room. Get him. Should go towards the light. I'll get this man well. I can't believe I'm saying this, Alex, but I think there might be something in there with you. My readouts are going crazy. Is the spirit jammer set correctly? Remember, to protect everyone, all the controls need to be set to the indicated position. Hello. Patrick Bannon here. Fulfilling my contractual obligation to this stupid fucking show <laughs> and to its fucking pointless. <laughs> okay, okay, no, 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 I'm done with this now. I think I uh, didn't mind the script so much, but Patrick Bannon does not improvise, so, um. Oh, okay, uh, no, no, thank you. Uh, no, I think I'm finished now. Finished now. Uh, thank you, guys. Holly, Holly, ah! Sacrificing them for you. Fuck off. Actually, I want her to live. No, I should sacrifice her. Everyone's getting sacrificed. Y'all fucking dying. And it's this room, okay. This is the writer's room. Oh, no! Come on, you should at least have an hour or two left on your battery life. <sighs> Maybe a main problem with the main power supply. Oh! A kinetic manifestation! <laughs> Oh, 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 I knew it, I knew it, the photo change. Thank you. This is an honor. The photo change, it has like 
Edward from Twilight behind the kid. <laughs> what? This is not spooky. This is weird. It looks to be an early draft of Graham Bannon's last show, but the name's been crossed out. Only her. Only her. <laughs> time, time to go. Is it? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't want to overstay my welcome. I'm just gonna. Um, slightly problematic. Hello? Um, to any spirits that are out there, I'd be more than happy to leave if you would just unlock the door. Ah! Uh, please, please, I, I don't mean to offend, I just wanted to leave a He's still there. The spectres who I know are in here. Oh, those are her shoes. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> uh oh. Is it his turn? I think it's his turn. Time to die, motherfucker. Completely off script. Oh, he's getting Diane, closer! Oh Diane, god, I'm that's actually you really while. scary! Diane, I'm for you in a while. Diane, what the fuck is Diane? I need more info on this Holly. She he's got a dead closer. dad or what? What's my angle? Diane! But at this point, didn't this thing fall already? Is this a, my oh, new scare? For fuck's sake. Are you causing a scene? No! This is not what we agreed, Gray. This arrangement is better for us both. Is it? Because I fail to see how I'm better off. I'm doing you a fucking favor. You should be paying me for an opportunity like this. That's money, isn't it? Normal money. I don't care about money. I want what I deserve, Graham. Exactly what you deserve. I'll tell them. And who'll believe you? Seriously, who will believe you, Marie? You're a woman! Yeah, I am. But at least I'm not a fraud. You won't last long, won't you, Marie? Oh, it's just gonna be his face at one point in that photo, and I don't like that. That's scary. One again. Okay, Holly. You can do this. But I want her and Brandon, or Brandon, Benin to be ba Bannon to be alive. Whoa, holy! Oh, oh, the kid's gone. Two. Oh, oh, the kid's gone. I got the shivers. Oh. <laughs> It's the small things that get me, man. Later. 
Small I stuff like that is so spooky. How. Here's what I know, or at least what I'm guessing. I seem to have gotten into the projection room. So no matter what, the projection room is last? There's some storage I'm in guessing? here. On what looks like the remnants of the fire. There's some of the tapes in there, in the scripts. So she's gonna find that piece of paper, but I didn't find any burned tapes again. So well, she's time. literally finding them all, but for some reason that's not me collecting them, you know? As requested, we've gathered all original manuscripts for you, even copies previously taken off site. We hope. Oh. Why would somebody want all the copies brought together? Well, too late for that question, I guess now. No, I wonder if the thing actually works. <laughs> so. Wow! Oh my god, it must have been so cool to watch stuff on this back in the day. <gasps> oh, wow. I don't think I'm gonna get to solve the whole mystery. It does take quite a few playthroughs to get it right. Bad. Is that Graham? Oh, Patrick. Okay, this is so good. Just one more time. <laughs> There's no rest for the wicked. So what do they all have in common? That's right. Okay. So. Oh man. The cosmetic aisle. So I'm hoping. Industry. You know because the first person who gets eliminated, uh, I think comes back at the very end. I made sure that was Patrick. Because I'm hoping it infuriates the ghost, because the ghost definitely hates Mr. Bannon. That's what I'm aiming for. I should have had someone else find those tapes, though, in the projector room. That was my bad. I forgot about that. Hold off any ghosts. Oh god, what am I doing here? In all the years doors open for me. This has to be the most ridiculous thing I've had to do. Still, I hope he's alright. I guess. And the others. I just. And the others. I just wish this was over. I just wish this was over. No. I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to. And I don't want to be here. If that doesn't happen, and. Somebody finds this later. Somebody finds this later. Well, I suppose a better sign off. I suppose a better sign off. The battery's dying and this is my only light. This is my only light. How'd you guys not <laughs> How'd you guys not bring up a fudging Take flashlight? A look at the television project sensation. Things are oh, really lights are off. <laughs> only on this side though. How could you trust? Yeah, like she absolutely Hello. detests Hello. Bannon. And look, Ghost Lady. Patrick's alive. Ghost Lady. Are you there? Where is he? Are you there? Am I dead? Oh, this is okay. So below this the is stage. Where she... This is where she. Where she? 
My dad sealed the door from outside. My dad sealed the door from outside. So I am so I trapped. Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, great. Well done, Patrick. Well done, the fine mess you got yourself into. Hey, Mr. Bannon, how would you like to run around like a dickhead for a few hours pretending ghosts exist? He swears yeah, so much. To me, mate, yeah. Oh, we'll be capitalizing off the death of your dad. How does that sound? You're fine by me, mate. What's the thing? For 10 grand and as many pages as you can stuff in your mouth. Sound good, yeah, mate. And the croissants are cold. Croissant. <laughs> Croissant. Listen here, Bonnet. Listen here, Bonnet. I'm listening. This is new. You won't be laughing for longer. What do you mean? You think you destroyed them all? You don't bitch! You? You're a liar. Bannon the phony returns to Lord Villain Shane. Where is he, Marie? Guilty Graham loses it all. You'll destroy everything! I don't care! Where is he, Marie? She's still alive. You can hear her. Please. Lift her up. He's gonna burn it for her. Oh. Hey, but she's still coming back? Did she not want us to burn it? Percy. I thought she wanted us to burn it. I can't it. believe you came. I only came to say goodbye. Goodbye? That's what I said, ain't it? Wait. What about your manuscript? No. I couldn't have done it without you. Wait. Do you really mean that? I think his dad oh, wanted to hide that tape forever and she wanted to expose it, which means you shouldn't have burned it. Right? Oh no, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I guess this is it. This is a big mystery. Must I go? This is the way it has to be. But remember, I'll never forget you, Mary. Do you promise? Cross my heart and hope to die. And dying is another man's job. So cheesy.
<laughs> and my hand slipped onto the space bar. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that while they were talking on purpose. I forget my sensor bar still works. <laughs> oh, hey! So you're dead. And she's gonna come and get me, because I didn't solve it! Hi, lady! You're pretty lady! Pretty lady. <laughs> you didn't solve the mystery. You are dead. Fuck! <laughs> and in the workshop, you discovered that there are three potential culprits. Culprits. Real one? No. You sent Patrick to the vault. You sent Holly to the projection room. No real. Patrick destroyed the film. No real. Fuck. 